Young girls in the beautiful valley of Kashmir sing and dance to the soft and lyrical music. Please enjoy the Kashmiri dance. Yesterday I was clever, so I wanted to change the world. Today I am wise, so I am changing myself. watching PTV World.
Those who look for seashells will find seashells. Those who open them will find pearls. Hey guys, Assalamu Alaikum. I hope everybody's doing great outside. You know, me, ladies and gentlemen, I happen to be Shahzad Hassan Khan. With me, I have the very lovely, the very amazing, the very supportive Shahzad Hashmi. The weather over here in Islam, but today is superb because while I was on my way to work, I didn't actually have to turn on the air conditioner of my car, which I yes. believe was wonderful. <laughs> but the air conditioner of my room was turned on, you know, throughout the night, <laughs> which actually made me feel a little cold. But while I was on the way, I rolled down my windows, you know, there, there was cool breeze, you know, through my hair, even though I have lesser hair today, ladies and gentlemen, but as a matter of fact, the weather out there is great, and for everybody who's out there who's planning to go somewhere beautiful, I think today is the time to do so. Hi, Shiza, how are you doing today? <laughs> I'm doing great, thank you so much for asking. And yes, I mean, I'm a, sorry for using this word, I'm a sucker for rainy days, I'm a sucker oh. for cloudy days as wow. well. That's a good and word. well, this and this morning was of course absolutely beautiful. But one thing I do have to mention over yeah. here, sort of, uh, um, well, I'm appreciating the efforts as well because last night when the rain started, it got pretty crazy, right? Yeah, it did. Especially in our area. So um, there were rescue uh, operations going yeah. on already, or sort of they were preparing themselves, you know, in case God forbid if something bad happens again. Because just recently we had a very unexpected flash flood and. Yeah. Unfortunately, people lost their lives. People lost their properties and whatnot. Yeah. So this time, I th this time I think the authorities were ready in case something happens. But thank God, Alhamdulillah, nothing yeah. of that sort or that magnitude happened. But hey, we were ready. Yeah, I like yeah. to believe that. I mean, we were ready, which is why you know I had to wake up in the middle of the night, and you know there was somebody kind of banging on my door, and they were like, "Hey, you know what? The water's coming inside the house." <laughs> yes, it was crazy. It <laughs> yeah, was insane. so I actually had to get up make sure that I was pushing away the sofa, the water was dripping from the roof and that to inside the lounge as well and I was like, hey, you know God, I mean it's about time that you really <laughs> need to stop with these showers, you know, make us feel relaxed a little bit as well. And you know, the most important aspect over here is that whenever it rains in Islamabad, it is raining usually more than any other area in, in E11. Our, yes. Yeah, and, and this is something which I cannot get because Muslims <laughs> over here all over the Pakistan, in fact, they think that, you know, wherever there are nicer people, that's where the rain comes Aww. the most as well. So <laughs> I believe that we are two nicer people <laughs> and I, we're I, in I, E11, which is why there's a lot of rain these days. But we want the rain to be safe and we want the people to be safe as well. You know, for everybody thing. who's out there, please make sure if there's any blockage in your drainage system or elsewhere, just keep an eye out on uh, for that because, you know, just yesterday, last night, mm -hmm. you know, my roof was dripping and oh. I actually had to go upstairs and do quite a lot of unblocking myself. Well, this is the season, of course, and I think we should be, although we, we just look forward to the rain, right, and enjoying that moment, but we should be prepared anyway. Because with every coming year, monsoon season is getting stronger and shorter, which means that all of that rain and all of those things have to happen but in a smaller period of time, which is going to be so harsh and severe for, of course, our planet. Exactly. Which makes me question sh sure. uh, you, Shazad. Right. Uh, I've been asking you, so here's the thing. I am seeking a lot of advice from him for, about the north of Pakistan because yeah. he has already been there. I have never been there. And well, my questions don't end. Yeah. So just recently, I, we were discussing. Yeah, so I'm going to ask again in front of everyone because it is pretty, from what I hear, it gets sometimes pretty dangerous in the monsoon yeah. season over there. Yeah. So tell me about, first of all, your experience in a way that, well, tell me one of the worst things, so I should, I should be prepared for it in case. I it mean, uh, obviously, you know, since the place is very busy, North and Summers is very busy. So, you know, the, I think that the human resource over there within the hotels mm -hmm. is actually in a very low number as well. And not just that, okay. you know, they cannot actually entertain 
a lot of people, even if they are staying at their hotels as well. And that's because of the fact that imagine that if there's a place who's only got 1,000 rooms or 2,000 rooms, there are 25,000 people coming in every day. Oh. So there's a big lag in between, you know, the service industry and the people who actually want to go and being served over there. Okay. And, you know, half of the time you do not even get a hotel room, so you actually have to look for other options, which certainly are not available. So people over here in Pakistan do not have this habit of planning their trips as well. Yeah. They're like, okay, you know, jate and, you know, we'll see whether uh -huh. we can get a place that. or not. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, it's a disturbing experience because for me, for a person like me, I do not like camping at all. I went camping for, for the very first time. That was, uh, we were fishing somewhere and I had to sleep in a tent and I didn't like it at all. I want to actually have a good bath early in the morning, brush my teeth somewhere. Some hot water would actually mm -hmm. be a blessing from Allah Almighty and a good clean bed to live and Wi-Fi at least, you know, because uh, in the north, it is so difficult to use internet that you actually had to go to the SEO office and get another SIM so that you can actually talk to the outer world or kind of upload your pictures. Because half of the time these days, whenever you're traveling, you're traveling so that you can post a lot of Instagram pictures. It's all about Instagram. Right? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, so well, such is the world, of course. Thank you for telling me that. But I feel but like... I, I want to tell you one more thing. Okay. Okay. You know, what if... Okay, so I'm not telling you, but it is a what if questions. What if I tell you that, Chiza, you know, you are going to get a chance to travel for one complete year and that too for oh. free what are you going oh. to do oh i like the second part more than the first but only you not your husband all right so you know oh. only you can travel so will i, you, I will still you, like it <laughs> will sorry you do that? <laughs> she's still going to like it that? i mean why would you like it yeah <laughs> i think i th well just the sound of it first of all is unreal i mean if someone were to tell me that it would yes blow my mind away yeah. and i how do we enter is something is it a real thing you're talking about i mean we, that's something which we'll figure out but for for now i just wanted your reaction that okay you know if somebody this is, is my reaction that i don't believe it how is who in the world is so generous that they're going to give me one oh, year of vacation there are a lot of people I mean, who are very generous who are working towards the tourism development of pakistan they're okay. joining hands and bringing people from <laughs> outside Pakistan so that they can actually do a good market survey and they can come up with facilities mm -hmm. which can literally facilitate a lot of Pakistanis out there. But if the same question would have been for me, I would yeah. have been like, I mean, imagine that, you know, for example, if we are going to take a year off from this show, particularly, uh -huh. do you think they will let us come back? No, <laughs> no. never. So, yeah. So, I think alongside, alongside a free uh, tour tourism year, you I know, want which, is, which is paid for, I actually want another job with it as well, you know. So after a year, if I'm coming back, I need to have this guarantee that, hey, you know what, you'll be allowed to work again. But I mean, Shazad, you know, in the hospitality sector within Pakistan as well, you did mention that yeah. we are, everyone really wants to sort of become a part of it and improve it. And that is how a lot of people are, well, I mean, where you said that you, you need a new job as well. A lot of people are sort of learning how to be best at it and then providing opportunities to the locals of those areas true, as well. True. Uh, we have a small report actually about hotels in Pakistan, your available options maybe, or even how this industry is growing. Let's take a look at it yeah. when we come back. Well, we still have to talk about the surprise, Shazad <laughs> said. One year yeah. of vacation, what? Okay. Let's do that. Let's take a look at the report. Good morning. I'm feeling great today. <laughs> are definitely one of the fastest growing sectors in the tourism sector and is, is truly justified as accommodation is the key part in the development of any country or region's tourism. Tourism and hotel industry always go hand in hand and the presence of enough hotels also adds value and quite a lot of factors and punches it within the region's economy. The growing tourism industry and hospitality industry has emerged as one of the prime growth factors and hotel business adds much value to it. Pakistan is also emerging as an important investment destination for new hotel development. The hotels in Pakistan are witnessing a substantial increase in growth both in terms of occupancy and average rate and this trend is expected to continue further in the upcoming years. The hotel industry in Pakistan is acting as a stimulant for the development of its economy and the sector is continuously growing and flourishing. However, amidst the COVID-19 pandemic, the hotels in the country have witnessed severe losses. Hotels are definitely comprehensive reports on different hotels in different parts of Pakistan. I truly believe that you know that we've actually progressed in the service industry, but there's a long way to go. How are we going to fill in the gap? How are we going to bridge these gaps? Uh, we have a solution for that. We have an entire team, uh, you know, representatives of ascendants, ladies and gentlemen. They've literally come up with a newer application with the name of Roof. You can download it on Apple or on Android. And 
you know, there are th these few things which they are promising, and that is that obviously that your stay is going to be really clean and hygienic. You're going to get Wi-Fi, uh, clean bed to sleep on, and an air conditioner, okay? So they're not making any more promises, but with all of this, they're saying that your accommodation is actually going to be on a very lower cost as well. It's about time that we test mm -hmm. them. And these are the people who are actually giving three different oh, people yes. the opportunity to travel for free for one complete year, ladies and gentlemen. And the winner will be announced on the 14th of August. It's going to be Independence Day. So without any further ado, we are lucky that we've actually been joined by the CEO of Ascendant. And he happens to be Andre Privateer. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. How are you? Assalamu alaikum to you both. Shiza, Shazad, thank right. you for having us back. Thank you very much for joining us. Here. It's wonderful to have you. And you know, when I, whenever I look at you, I honestly feel as if I need to age the way you've aged as well. Oh, <laughs> compliment. Even though I'm not going to say that you've aged too much. We're the same age. <laughs> I like it. I, All right. we're, we're, I like it. I totally agree with it. Yes. But it's just that when I was very younger, I was very big as well. At the same time, so yeah. you might have been mistaken about my age, but it's probably <laughs> all right. We're alongside uh, the CEO of uh, Ascendant, ladies and gentlemen. We're lucky that we've actually been joined by the marketing expert as well. She happens to be Miss Sabura. Rizwani, hello. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. Wa alaikum assalam. Good morning. Thank you very much for joining us. Wonderful to have you. Shiza, do you want to kind of compliment her? The of way course. I, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, all of you look amazing, by the way. I love such smiles and energies early in the morning. Yeah, wonderful. And ladies and gentlemen, wherever we may probably be, you know, even outside Pakistan, whenever we see an opportunity that we can give back to Pakistan or our community, we take advantage of that opportunity. We get the first ticket back home. We come back over here and we try to help people as well. So one of such... Uh, such examples we have over here in the studios with us who's recently joined hands with the Senate as well. He happens to be Mr. Rao Israsa, who's the revenue management expert. Hello, assalamu alaikum, good morning. Alaikum assalam, good morning. Rao thank you very much for joining us. Wonderful to have you. Same here, thank, thank you. you. Okay, so you guys, I think to begin with where Shazad told me, one entire year of doing nothing and that too paid for. Yeah. I, I want answers to that. But before that, let's establish with you, Andre. Believe the dream, it's real. Is, is it? Is it? Real. Okay, Absolutely. well, I'll take your word on it. Something like this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll take your word so on it. So three people are actually going to be the lucky winners, right? Yes. But why are you doing this? We're doing this because like most people who have been confined by COVID, we were ready to launch this app in March of last year. All, right. All of a sudden, COVID happened. So we've been in this soft launch phase. Few people are traveling. Mm -hmm. Numbers are reduced. So we've just kind of held and like waiting for things to change. In January of this year, after almost a year into it, mm -hmm. the second wave was coming to an end. People were traveling like they'd never traveled before. We sat together and we were talking about how we could launch this app, but in a way that made sense. It was re somehow related to COVID, the freeing of the whole thing, people traveling more. So we just had this crazy idea. What if we gave away a mm. year of free hotels? Yeah. And I think it was Sabur or somebody else who said, yeah, but that wouldn't work because people have to work. And we're yeah. like, well, what if they didn't have to work? What if we took their salaries and we paid them to travel? Yeah. And then we all started giggling and we're like, that's impossible. And it's like, no, we just do it. Yeah. We just do it. And then we're like, well, we need to pay for the buses and the trains. Okay. And then we're like, we start doing the costs. And we're like, can we afford this? Maybe, maybe not. And then our friends from PIA said, this is outstanding. Let us contribute the flights. Oh, wow. So PIA has very kindly offered to give us four, four tickets, domestic tickets, anywhere in Pakistan uh, per winner. So that's 12 tickets totally. Wow. Yeah. It's a, yeah. That is, that's I feel like, a great idea that actually went to fruition as well. So we, that sounds great. And the winner, by the way, you guys, will be announced on the 14th of August. Can people still enter? Is it open? Yes. Okay, so towards the end of the show, we will give you all the details of the website and where to enter as well, in case you're wondering if you're the next person to have all the free vacations. I mean, because, but, you yeah. know, this was the first question which I asked Andre today in the morning, and I was like, you know, can we kind of participate? And but he's like, cannot. you know, it'll actually look like as if, you know, we have kind of given it to you ourselves. So, you know, <laughs> they never wanted to do that, and they never wanted us to take a part as well, you know. So, so I think I'm going to move on to the revenue management expert over here, because, okay. you know, when the CEO of the company says, hey, you know what, let's... Um, make three people travel for a complete year and get all their bills paid as well. You know, that's where the revenue management comes in. And they're like, hey, you know what, what are you doing with the company? Did, mm -hmm. did you actually have a conversation of such sort with Andre or anybody else at the company? Uh, 
uh, let me a little bit please allow me to explain sure, a little sure, bit sure. about my journey first here sure. uh, how please. is uh, how my journey started yeah, actually sure. i left pakistan like uh, 12 years back wow. uh, joined internationally like a uh, kempinski hotels <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so working over there and then uh, i moved to thailand from last 8 years i'm working with the dusit internationals I don't know how people are going to think about you now <laughs> since you mentioned <laughs> so, thailand so <laughs> yes, uh, we can see it's a really like how is a Thailand uh, a tourism is a very important for that country yeah. as it's contributing 19% in their GDP and their business of 110 billion US dollars. Exactly. Right. Yeah. And annually like a 33 million uh, tourists uh, uh, visiting Thailand, mm -hmm. which is basically 50% of their population. Wow. So, but all those are working from last eight years over there. Pakistan, being a Pakistani, proud Pakistani, like patriotic Pakistani, I my eye was always, I was looking toward Pakistan oh, right. to find the right opportunity and how I contribute my knowledge and come back home and mm. start working here. Wow. And then I got in contact with Andre and we have uh, some uh, professional common friend in Thailand also. Okay. So, and then I decided to join Ascendant. And, as and you finally joined and now you're here. Uh, I'm here and I see big potential in Pakistani market here. Of course. Yeah, uh, being a Pakistani, uh, like if I'm, I'm start watching from actually the growth in the, in the industry from 2018 onward. Mm -hmm. But in 2018, uh, the Pakistan was declared as like, you know, a top destination by Euro Asia. True, true, yes. true. Yeah, then uh, British Backpacker Society, so mm -hmm. I was so pleased actually to come to know that's a top adventure destination yeah. in the world and most hospitable, hospitable, hospitable person in, 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 the people, on the yeah. planet actually mm -hmm. in right. Pakistan. It was declared and I was so proud on this. So looking here in Pakistan in the potential actually, hmm. I think we are very diversified like Asian? culturally, okay. but right? can I add ethnically, yeah. so very diversified. And looking here, we have a potential of religious tourism. Yeah. Yeah. We have adventure tourism. Country. And if someone is looking for a quality food, yeah. I oh, think so of we, are course. <laughs> we are the best. Yeah. Yeah. I still remember having a so yak burger, yak beef burger, ladies and gentlemen, in Hunza, yeah. which is wonderful. But sir, coming down to the point once again, we exactly. thoroughly respect the kind of journey you've had. And now that you were given the opportunity, you're here to serve Pakistan. But when the CEO tells you that, hey, you know what, we're going to tra make <laughs> three people travel, that to all throughout Pakistan for a year, that too for free. What does the revenue management expert okay. say? Uh, I think when I heard about this uh, this uh, marketing campaign, it was stunning. It's, it's okay. such thing, wow, it's out of our imagination actually. Because if you see in a Pakistan hospitality, we have like uh, some international brand here, we have a local, our uh, Pearl Continental, Move and Pick, and most of people can't afford to stay over there. Yeah. So idea which uh, Ascendant in launching, a lot of people, some people are traveling, they are, have to save entire year to travel. True. Mm. So coming with this idea, uh, pay get to travel, it was really, I mean, I, I look at it as a, being a revenue specialist, it's not expense for me, I will take as an investment. Wow. Okay, yeah. well, and that's we are smart. contributing in the in this society and the happiness toward the people and society. Wow, so that's, that's absolutely wonderful. brilliant. So, so we, yeah. Um, no, just to, to, to add to that point, mm -hmm. when we first had the idea, we thought it would be great people can find at home starting to dream about where they'd like to travel next. And we thought that was a positive thing. Yeah. We wanted to put smiles back on the faces of people, getting them excited about their next trip and what the future holds for them. And then the minute the entries started coming in, it was completely different. You've got a country of poets and artists mm. and dreamers, some of the most beautiful things, way beyond imagination. Really? Um, the kinds of, yeah, yeah so it's like we, we expected one thing and mm -hmm. what we got was totally different. But And it, at the same time, the sense of national pride. These Pakistanis that are entering, they're like, we want to discover this part of Pakistan. We want to go to the north. We want to discover outside Quetta places, Quetta places that yeah. people have never been to. Mm -hmm. So there's this growing feeling that Pakistan has a richness that you yourselves want to explore and discover. Wow. So that's okay. been a really nice part of it, yeah. And just listening to it actually makes me want to travel to. I'm saying that because I've well, never. She talks about been. it, but she does not go, man. I'll right. tell you we why. She's got to have a job this, but that she's requires me. 17 times. Yeah. Sorry? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so moving on to Sabura over here. <laughs> did, did we just get her in trouble? No, no, I no, know. No. The, I don't four, think so. the 14th was the best entry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you know, I really wanted to keep it a secret, but okay. Yeah. Sabura, uh, why don't you, because I want to get this out of the way so we can move on to how to go about the app. So let us know how many entries you've had so far. 10,000? So, and because it's still open as well, right? Yes, and also, yeah. if I were to take it from the horse's mouth, 
to make it easier for the people. What would you be looking for in the entries? Okay. So, so far, uh, the response has been overwhelming. Uh -huh. We've been receiving entries every day. There are like 300, 500 entries coming in. Wow. Uh, we have over 10,000 plus entries so far. Well, most of them are mine, so. <laughs> well, <laughs> I didn't want to tell that. But, uh, so, so, people from every walk of life they're entering. So you have youngsters, you have your older generation, you have you, you know families entering, and somebody people are like uh, creating videos and they're adding songs to it, and they have these long captions so where sweet. they express you know about their adventures and the dream destinations that they want to go to and how you know they want to travel. So so the, it's it's overwhelming for us. It's hmm. very emotional as well. You know, at the same time I that can, people I can. want That's to visit. That's evident on your faces. Yeah, though. people want to visit Pakistan. So you know, it's it's very uh, when we are going through these entries and we're shortlisting so it's it's a b moment for us as well that you know where we want to be very um, you know a fair you know while exactly. we're shortlisting the entries so there are going to be three winners mm -hmm. uh, and then what you're looking for is that you know one winner is going to be someone who has never traveled okay ever. Okay. So need based. That's person. that's going to be yeah. amazing, you know, <laughs> you know. And we were talking about this idea as well, but please continue. Yeah, and then the second winner is going to be somebody with you know very artistic entry. Oh yeah. And, and third, we're still Shizar trying to you know figure me. out because <laughs> we have, oh, okay, <laughs> because we have entries from photographers, we have entries oh. from bloggers, and we have entries from normal people who who've, who've mm. like got sixty followers or hundred followers on Instagram. So it's all about the creativity and the effort that you're putting in. Wonderful. So yeah, we're looking forward to more entries and, and the third and one and the third one. Third one, we're still deciding. Oh, oh still that's still a surprise. surprise. It's a secret. It's I mean, a surprise. 14th of August is not that far away. I mean, if you're still taking your time to decide, please make sure that you hurry <laughs> up a little bit. <laughs> sure. Yeah, but adding on to that, hmm. you know, it's it's wonderful. The initiative is wonderful, and I definitely want to speak more about room and how you're actually going to facilitate people all over Pakistan. But that's being uh, that that's means. going to be a secondary question. But first things first, you know, for all of those people who are watching us right now, I want you to once say it in Urdu. And one say it in English as well, so that majority of the people can understand that how they can participate in this very amazing travel for free kind of uh, opportunity, which is being provided to you by Ascendant and Roof Lanes. Ladies and gentlemen, please make sure that you listen to it very carefully. We have some visuals to share as well. So Asnan, whenever you're ready with the visuals, please make sure that you share them. And meanwhile, Sabura, please go ahead. Let us know. Take so us through. Uh, I'll just explain the process on yeah. how you can enter the competition. It's okay. very simple. There are very minimal restrictions. All you have to do is to go to your Facebook or Instagram profile. You upload a picture or video of your past travel adventure or a dream destination that you want to go to. In the caption, you mention why you want to go to that place and you use the hashtag get pay to travel and you tag at roomf.pk and you post it. Is it on Twitter or on Instagram? On Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. So everywhere. we need to ha use the hashtag? Hashtag get pay to travel. Get pay to travel and, and tag? And you need to tag roomf.pk so that we get notified that you have submitted an entry. All right. Because All right. you don't have to go and... And the spelling of roomf are? R-U-M-F? R-O-O-M-P-H. Room. room. Okay. Yeah, oh, but that's room. Wasn't it obvious? <laughs> okay. I was like, okay, it might be like R U M F. <laughs> no, room. no. R O O M P H dot P K is yeah. the tag. And hashtag get paid to travel is the hashtag that you have to use. Wonderful. Okay, okay so, so now I'm going to repeat it in Urdu. I was okay. Going to do that. <laughs> okay, you want to do that? Okay, I, I really ahead. wanted okay. to do Urdu. Okay, so to be I think honest. Shiza is actually going to kind of translate it in Urdu for yes. better understanding towards the masses out there what as well. What, so what's the hashtag? I can do that. You can do that? Yeah, yeah, I will do that in Urdu. Please, please. ओके सो पार्टिसिपेट करने के लिए आपको क्या करना है कि अपने फेसबुक इंस्टाग्राम या ट्विटर प्रोफाइल पे जाके अपने कोई पास ट्रैवल एडवेंचर या आपका कोई ड्रीम डेस्टिनेशन है उसकी वीडियो या पिक्चर को आप अपनी प्रोफाइल पे अपलोड करें अगर फेसबुक पे करें तो मेक श्योर कि आपकी जो पोस्ट है वो पब्लिक हो इंस्टा पर आपकी प्रोफाइल पब्लिक हो और फिर उसके बाद आप अपने कैप्शन में मैंशन करें कि आपने उस जगह पर क्यों जाना है वो एक दो लाइन्स में आप उसको एक्सप्लेन कर सकते हैं फिर उसके बाद आप हैश यूज़ करें गेट पे टू ट्रैवल और आप टैग करें रूफ डॉट पी के को और फिर आप उसके बाद अपनी एंट्री पोस्ट कर दें and then this is how we will be notified oh that's wonderful really? a big round of applause for the entire team for coming up with such a great initiative and there's a reason why i'm doing so and or saying so and that is that there is a gentleman rather than they them thinking about taking people abroad because this app will obviously or is going to help people to kind of find accommodation outside pakistan as well but they're focusing on tourism in pakistan as well so obviously it's a great deal for us for everybody who's out there as well but so very quickly uh, andre i'm going to come back to you where 
Now let's talk more about rooms as well, and you know how it's going to kind of give people accommodation that to very low rates. Sure. Is it the Airbnb model behind it? Or because you know, just right now when you were talking about how applications came in or started to pour in, you know there were people who wanted to go to the suburbs of Quetta mm -hmm. and elsewhere where we hardly have any facilities. So mm, how rooms course. is actually going to facilitate them in areas which are very remote? Mm. Ascendant is first a technology company. So we, um, I, I got started in Pakistan two years ago with the Hashu Group, consulting them on all their sort of like technology and how they could use that to do more business online. Wonderful. They purchased some very expensive software. They've committed to a three-year uh, project that has financed this for the two-star hotel in Sukur, for the three-star hotel in Sost. Okay. So. Essentially, um, it was part of the agreement. Uh, obviously, the, the director, the, uh, the, the deputy chairman, uh, is very entre uh, very um, charitable, and they have foundations and whatnot like that. Mm -hmm. So the idea of actually taking the same software that's being used in the group and allowing other hotels that have never used software to actually do more business online. Wow. So this is possible thanks to that relationship. We're independent, which allows us to have a, a great relationship with these individual hotels and take care of them as well. Mm -hmm. So we had 20 account managers that were going door to door from Gwadar to Gilgit. And whenever they were giving away the software to help the business, when they found a hotel with air conditioning, Wi-Fi, and clean washrooms, we decided that we could fill a very, very uh, st strong need in the, in the marketplace. If you're driving in the car yeah. and you've been driving for 20 hours and you see the word hotel on a sign, you have no idea of knowing well, what's well, inside. What is, yeah. So very simply, what we do is we provide transparency. And what that transparency is, is you can go into the app, look at the hotels near you, look at the photographs, read the guest reviews, and if it's a one star, it means it's got the minimum standards. Okay. If it has two stars, the minimum standard is air conditioning, Wi-Fi, clean washrooms. Right. So uh, on fifty-seven percent of negative guest reviews are the washrooms and the Muslim shower. All right. So it's important mm, to Pakistanis. Definitely. That's where we look first. <laughs> That's what we look for. That's what we look for first. Absolutely. Yeah. But towards the end, I want this is sort of a hard question, but I want you guys to wrap up on this note as well. So for a person like me, and there are thousands of people like me who actually choose Airbnb over even Booking.com or similar, well, yeah. so many other platforms, because I, fe I feel like I feel paranoid over there, or I feel like I might be safer on Airbnb, regardless of what they will charge me. Yeah. I, so, what would it be that um, will make me choose room? Okay, that's... Any one of you may question. answer. It's a, it's a great question. The, the thing about Airbnb is it's a private homestay, so you're yeah. staying in somebody's home. Yeah. Typically, what I hear is the opposite. People feel comfortable in hotels okay. and less comfortable in okay. private ho rooms. What we've done is we've actually taken a piece of the Airbnb model mm -hmm. and used it for the Northern Territories, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. There are only 40,000 hotel rooms in mm -hmm. Pakistan. You have a country of 220 million people. Yeah, sure. That's one for every 5,550. <sighs> we've done the math. Wow. Egypt. <laughs> has five times more hotel rooms per capita, okay. Indonesia 10 times more. So in the northern territories, you have huge demand in the mm -hmm. north. But to actually build a hotel takes three, four years, takes millions and millions of dollars to yeah. do it, takes another year to finish it, and you've only got a four-month season to repay the loan. Right. So the economic model of hotels in the north doesn't work. Okay. We've consulted with the Minister of Tourism of KPK, with the National Bank of Pakistan, NB, NBP has been wonderful. Yeah. They've made soft loans available for private homestays in the north wow. to add more hotel rooms. So we're assisting all mm -hmm. of these independent agencies that are trying to add more supply mm -hmm. to our platform so we can sell those rooms to Pakistanis through Roomf, wow. but also through the network if you go to Jazz Cash or if you go to HBL and you're doing your, your school payments, you can look for a hotel room there too. Wow, that's wonderful. Amazing. Thank you very much uh, to the entire team of Ascendant. You know, you guys are doing a great job and we definitely want to wish you best of luck for all your future endeavors. Please make sure that you take tourism to another level over here in Pakistan as well. But thank you very much, Mr. Andre. Thank Beautiful. you very much, thank you for uh, ma'am. And thank you very much, Mr. Asa, for joining us. Wonderful to have you. And for everybody who's out there, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you know, we're actually heading out towards a short break. But once you guys will be back, you know, whenever you're traveling, you would definitely want to listen to some good music, right? So, you know, we've actually thought about it. We have visualized about it. So let's kind of listen to a few good songs. I will try it. Heading out to a short break. See you in a minute. Stay good tuned. Morning. Good morning.
Welcome back to Well This Morning. I hope you all are having an amazing morning. Also that to start with a very healthy breakfast. I always reiterate upon that yeah. fact as well. Well, in the first segment, we were discovering different options for uh, traveling and, you know, sort of, uh, I want to say favorable accommodation for everyone to enjoy as well, regardless of where they come from. Yep. That, that was my favorite part of the first segment, that it was available to every single person. But Shazad, we really have to keep in mind for about two years now, we are definitely going through a pandemic and it is definitely harder for some people as compared to others, but it's it's there, it's not going anywhere. Yeah. And with the new variant coming in every now and then, and now the expected new wave as well, some smart lockdowns going on. I in don't know. different cities. Yes, yes, already in 13 cities and we're hoping to extend that. Well, hopefully not, but I mean, the government is talking about it. So during this, of course, to feel light and to feel happy about things, people are planning to travel. But we really hope that you keep the following things in mind and the following being the SOPs that we are going to share with you in the report that is just going to be played. Let's take a look at where the variant is now and how well, how safe we for are. For the awareness of our audiences in 46 different countries, ladies and gentlemen, there are different variants going on. Everybody's around you, you know, and so yeah, is and the variant. So please make sure to be very careful about everything. So let's go. Let's take a look let's at the report. Once you guys will come back, I want to actually talk about how Shiza actually welcomed us back as well. So okay. first the report. Okay. <laughs> Emergence of a new strain of coronavirus, the Delta variant is contributing to a rapid rise in COVID cases. According to World Health Organization, the Delta variant has been identified in at least 132 countries worldwide and is the most transmissible of the variants identified so far. In Asia, countries which had previously successfully curbed the spread of virus are also seeing sharply rising cases. In Pakistan, due to spread of Delta variant, positivity rate is currently 8.82%. However, Pakistani citizens continue to get vaccinated. The country's vaccination rate has risen exponentially. According to National Command and Operation, Operation Center Chief Asad Umar, Pakistan crossed over 30 million vaccinations. A partial lockdown has been imposed by government in Sindh, whereas in Punjab, the government has also imposed lockdown in Lahore, Multan, Rawalpindi and Faisalabad. A sub-lineage of the Delta variant called the Delta Plus was first reported in India after the crisis level rise in coronavirus cases in India due to Indian government's mishandling of the situation. India
India currently stands with 40,134 new COVID cases and 422 deaths. Despite the new strain, protests against government-mandated COVID-19 health measures have broken out all across the Western world. People are considering government restrictions as a hindrance to their freedom. Elsewhere in Germany, despite rising coronavirus cases and a court order banning the protests, thousands continue to protest against lockdown. Similarly, in the US, healthcare workers and their supporters have started protesting against mandatory vaccines. The emergence of a new strain of coronavirus, the Delta variant. Right, we definitely wanted people to hear the report once again, but our producer thought that wasn't really a great idea. But ladies and gentlemen, we have put the facts right in front of you. It's about time that since we have imagined, we have thought about traveling for free for a complete year. <laughs> We're in the you know, zone. <laughs> you know, let's kind of listen to some good music because that's the kind of music I want to listen to while I'm traveling, you know. I do not want hard rock, you know, anything metallic or something of that sort while I'm traveling towards the north. I want something very serene, calm, which takes me on another level, another journey, another dimension, ladies and gentlemen, because every day is going to be a new day while I'm traveling as well. <laughs> so we're very lucky that we've actually been joined by a star in the making over here with us. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the one and only Mr. Tasir Heather. Hello, Assalamu alaikum, Heather. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I think I'm shouting too much today. We're I'm good. Excited. You know, so here's the I'm thing. I'm for free for a year, man. I, I know. I, I think we're overwhelmed by the fact. But Shazad and I, the kind of jobs we have, I mean, the, we are charged early in the morning, yeah. right? And then uh, you're greeting Tasir. It put us back, man. Are you awake? Are you okay to do this? Yes. Okay, okay. perfect. So how have you been ever since you last came in? What's new with your music? Actually, I've come up with my own music uh -huh. uh, and that's been really great. And I've been getting a lot of gigs these days. Oh, mashallah, so, that's So, yeah, nice. that's good too. So, I think I'm in the right direction and stuff is working out. Oh, so. that's wonderful. And, you know, for, like for to anyone to think about, think the way you're thinking is where they're actually going to set mm. a right path for yeah. themselves as well. Yeah. Definitely. But do you think it is because of the music that people are giving you gigs or is it because you're so good looking? <laughs> I guess, I or don't know. Or is it a package? <laughs> I guess it's only the talent that works. Oh. Okay. Well, I think you're being modest over here, but for sure, there is no question in your talent. So why don't we first of all request you to share one of your own songs to all begin right. because with? Because this is ready. for the very first time that you're Perfect. actually going to sing a Perfect. song on national Perfect. television or any sort yep. of television channel. Take us through that, you know, thinking yeah. process while you were writing your own yeah. song, you know, composing your own music. What were you thinking about? Because people over in Pakistan usually think about love, a girl, or probably something other than that, you know. Actually, the thing is that I I just compose this music. Okay. The lyrics mm -hmm. are not actually mine. It's okay. okay. Yeah. My friend has written lyrics, but it's Salman. Yeah. All right. So I just composed it for him. I I guess I have a hard time writing lyrics, because I think and but I don't force it, na. Because when it comes, it comes. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. If it doesn't come, then I write lyrics and compose them. So wow. my friend's lyrics are hmm. composition. Okay. Let's do it. Let's so. do it. Zindagi tujhe bardash karna ab aasan nahi aasan nahi tere bina bhi jeene ka maza maza hai nahi maza hai nahi agar tumse ho jayenge juda to apna aap ye kho dega agar tumse ho jayenge juda to apna aap ye kho dega tu mera sukoon hai sukoon hai aur tu hi Mila dard hai, dard hai, dard hai, gham bhi hai, teri rusvai ke, ke nishan bhi, ke nishan bhi, manzil thi tum, उसमें रुकावट नहीं मैं उस सफर की याद में मंजिल को बैठा हूँ अब बस तू ही मेरा गम है और तू ही 
उसने मिला दर्द है दर्द है दर्द है हम भी हैं तेरी रुसवाई के के निशान Oh, I was too late with my Instagram post, but <laughs> you have done a great job today, Tasi. Wow! The way you've sung it, the way you've composed it, the way your vocals were—you know—you're not short of being a legend over here in Pakistan and all over the world as well. And you've I done a great going... job, and you're definitely a talented being as well. For Marshall. sure. Bit, and I was actually imagining, you know, music to your highs and lows as well. Uh, I mean, other than the instrument guitar itself. And I—I I mean, imagine when they record it, man, it's going to be a banger, inshallah, for sure. <laughs> So tell me, what is it that draws you to? I mean, when you got the lyrics, what is it that drew you in that you were like, okay, I really have to compose. And this you know one. the way you've composed it. I'm sorry, but I really need to admire the kind of work you've done over here because half of the time, people your age They cannot even, even know play guitar or or probably sing. But the way you've composed it kind of takes the audience with it as well, and they want to sing it. Hmm. And I think partially, I am going to remember the song as well. So you know, after so the show, we're actually going to make you sing this song. Once again, and that's where Instagram story is going to come up as well. <laughs> <laughs> But please tell us. Thank you. So first things first, I think uh, when you see the lyrics, mm -hmm. and you know the and you should know the basic chords, and you should have the lyrics in front of you. Yeah. That's the basic formula. And I think your environment should be good for music composition. That's true. And you shouldn't like force yourself. Okay. If you want to compose music, then you shouldn't like force yourself. Okay. If you want to compose music, then you shouldn't like force yourself. Okay. If you want to compose music, then you shouldn't like force yourself. अगर आपसे हो रहा है इफ़ यू कैन मेक लाइक इफ़ यू कैन कम अप विद वन सिंगल लाइन तो आप उसको वहीं तक रखें अगर नहीं हो रहा आपसे ना करें यू जस्ट यू जस्ट हैव टू यू जस्ट डोंट हैव टू फोर्स इट एंड आई थिंक क्रिएटिविटी जो होती है वो हर इंसान के अंदर होती है एंड यू जस्ट हैव टू गेट इट आउट एंड द वे यू हैव टू गेट इट आउट इज यू जस्ट डोंट हैव टू फोर्स इट इट कम्स आउट बाई इट सेल्फ और हर इंसान के अंदर डिफरेंट 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 क्रिएटिविटी होती है और वो खुद आ जाती है अपना फोन खोलते हैं अपना रिकॉर्ड खोलते हैं जस्ट यू रिकॉर्ड I can even pick up an instrument. But you know what? I But still cannot even get over the fact that you've actually composed the beautiful song. Yeah, I still yes. cannot get over the fact. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now here's the thing. I have totally forgotten what I was going to ask you. Probably just you know overwhelmed by the kind of work you're doing. But okay, uh, since we know that you're studying as well, yeah. and this is one of your things that as a hobby maybe as well you want to carry yeah. on. So now that things are getting back to normal, are you going to take a break with this? Um, actually, I'm going to take a break with this. But अगर मेरी एक्सपेक्टेशन बिल्कुल भी आई नहीं है कंसिडरिंग द फैक्ट्स एंड कंसिडरिंग के मेरे से ज़्यादा बहुत टैलेंटेड लोग हैं मेरी एक्सपेक्टेशन बिल्कुल भी आई नहीं है आई हैव टू कैरी ऑन विद माई स्टडीज एंड आई एम कैरिंग ऑन विद माई स्टडीज बट इट्स एक्चुअली ए साइड थिंग फॉर नाउ बट अगर चलता है तो वुडेंट लव इट Wow that's that's wonderful but I still uh, have a I do have a piece of message for you or an advice for anybody who's out there who think that there are a lot of uh, talented people out there or if there's a lot of fish in the sea ladies and gentlemen there's one thing you can always expect and that is that you should actually expect to give it the best from your own self rather than from anybody else since and i mean if you're going to keep it that way that you're going to be expecting yourself to do better every single day inshallah you will be out there and please make sure that you do not stop to expect from yourself at least and the world will share their love with you as well and we want you to be more focused on this as well other than studies because you are a legend in the making i'm telling you this today and i'm going to come back afterwards 5 years and tasir won't actually have time to be on the show because tasir will be touring no, no, over no, the no, world no. inshallah <laughs> and that's something and this is how i want you to think because the very first time i thought about being on television i was 4 years old really? and look i've been on television alhamdulillah for more than 11 12 years now which i'm thankful to allah almighty but it's all about how you think about it and how you go about it and same goes for mr andre yeah you know from the <laughs> ascendant uh, i mean ladies and gentlemen there are people who think about the good in themselves and that's what they want to share with people as well but right now what we're going to do is that we actually have to wish birthday to a little kid and once we're going okay. to get down with that we're going to come back to you okay. you're going to sing us one more song Perfect. from the band strings i'm very sorry why strings couldn't make it for any time longer than 32 or 33 years but they should have <laughs> uh but ladies and gentlemen it's about time that we the wish longest. wish this happy birthday to that amazing kid who's out there as well are you ready okay this time around i think you should sing sabdur so, rahman a very happy hash day to you happy birthday, birthday to you 
May you have many more. The moment I saw your picture, I remember that that's the way I used to pose. Oh, really? Oh, <laughs> yeah. so cute. Happy birthday, Abdurrahman. Um, well, all our prayers and wishes for you. And actually, anyone celebrating their birthday today, wow. we're wishing you a very lovely and a happy birthday to Wish you. Wish you well. a happy Hajj day. So take it away, Tasi. Whatever you want to share Thank with our audiences. मिल गया वो जो चुरा के मेरी आंखों से निंदिया ले गया था दूर एक गांव है वहां ठंडी छाव जाना है नदियां के पार कर मेरा इंतजार मेरा बिछड़ा यार मेरा बिछड़ा यार कर मेरा इंतजार मेरा बिछड़ा यार मेरा बिछड़ा चलते साए वही डलते डलते दिल में जो कुछ था वही हो ठोपे आने लगा and a very warm welcome to BTV World News. I'm Hajra Sati. And I'm Fadrukh Fayaz. We take a look at the headlines first.